Barakati. Welcome to another episode of On the Couch. My name is Alaina and I have Rukia Indiadila as my co-host today. Today we are going to be discussing about the changes we want to see in our communities or in the world as it is. So I will, like, we'll start with Rukia too. Oh my god. <laughs> I have so many changes that I want to see in the world. I wish to see um, children taking care of their parents, not only their change people, the pastors, the, um, the chefs, they are, like as we call them from our feet, just giving their parents the love or the respect they deserve. That's the change I want to see. Because nowadays, children, they really don't respect their parents. Parents, they have to be respected. One yeah, it, I, I, I think yeah. I saw a quote from Ibn Majah, I don't know, when they said it's very sad how uh, girls speak with their, uh, no, actually you would speak with their friends in a friendly tone and then speak with their parents in a harsh tone and it's very, very sad. Yeah, I wish you could just take them like, please talk with them nice, <laughs> nice. you be nice to your friend when you cannot be nice to your to own parents. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a team Okay, for me, there are, I've got a lot of changes that I wish I could change or I wish I could see things happening in the world. But what I can say for now is I would love, 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 love to see people living in harmony. You know, if people love each other, I think we will live in peace. The more, if you take a look at someone, your neighbor, or at someone that you just see and say, I want to be treated this way. If someone sees me, I want someone to smile at me just by passing. I want to just be talking to somebody freely. But in this environment that we are living, I'm telling you, it's so terrible. You move in the streets. That way, nowadays we have so much hate. We hate each other with passion to the extent that we see a lot of killings. We see a lot of beatings. We see a lot of hatred being spread around the world. If we go back to I don't to the old times where people used to appreciate each other, whether you go in the street, you are going somewhere, maybe you are traveling for a long journey, you just sit beside someone in the bus, you start talking to each other, you share ideas, you explore other things, you know, that kind of thing. That is the kind of communities that I want to see. It also brings me to this thing like I also wish that we stop one day just reaching that part where we are saying 16 days of activist yeah, I don't know this whole gender based violence it's really sad that you see that till now men are still beating women although they are open about it and I just wish that was, it's like a thing in the past where a man cannot raise a hand to a woman I know women can talk about it but I just wish like just talk don't be the person just be a gentleman just leave the person you know you don't do the thing if you know someone who's just insulting you or something so I just Wish one day we don't talk about like make it make noise about people that are beating each other. I really hope one day. You know. Yeah, I think that so, it's more about violence in every angle, hmm. right? Violence in every angle, not only about men beating women, but violence in general. Now we hear about <laughs> I don't want to name names about what is happening around here, but you know. <laughs> You feel afraid, I'm telling yeah. you. You can't even walk alone in a distance of, I, I don't know, 500 meters because you, you always be looking around like, is someone following me? Is someone trying to steal something from me? It's all about violence every time. And you wonder, where did all this come come from, you know? Where's the love? Thing. Where's the love, actually? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Like, there's a prophet from said, you have not become a believer until you love for your brother or to love for yourself. So I think we it starts with the believers. Try to actually bring this peace and the love. Because I think there are some who are supposed to be believers, I think, but they are also in these wars and fighting and all those things. So I like it's uh, people that are less selfish. I think we are becoming more selfish as we are going on. People that are becoming greedy. So that part where we, uh, we stop being greedy and start sharing a lot and just loving each other, like she said before, like that world where we are loving each other. Because you cannot be walking around and then if something bad happens, no one is going to help you. Yeah. 
Before it wasn't like that. Someone would shout and then you get help. But nowadays, it's like, no, I don't mind. This is not me. I'm not being affected. Mm-hmm. It's like nothing is happening to you. You mind your own business and the other person just has to suffer the one. So I think we are now self-centered. Like you only think about yourself. You only think about your family. Mm-hmm. And you don't think about other people. If you look at a uh, long back well, in the village, it's mostly me. You know, people uh, they will say a child belongs to everyone else. It's not about like ah, I see someone doing something bad, a child doing something bad, mm-hmm. and then I don't give that person a beating or mm-hmm. I don't give that child a warning or something because I'm afraid the mother will come and accuse me. Why? Why did you say something to my child? Mm-hmm. That kind of situation has changed. It used to be so nice and. The situation could be controlled back then because people would understand that anyone can tell someone to stop when they're doing something bad. And someone, anyone can encourage someone to do something good. Mm-hmm. But now we are self-centered, so it's so, all about do what you do with your family. It's not my business. If I see you in harm, then I will leave you in harm. As long as it's not harming me, then I'm fine with it. That's yeah. where the problem and is. Another thing is discrimination and... Uh, I think stigmatization, those kind of things that are happening in these uh, communities mm-hmm. where people discriminate each other, maybe because of faith or maybe yes. because of their disabilities, mm-hmm. races. Mm-hmm. I think those things I just want them to change in the community. A change I also want to see is that change where we start thinking to make things. I wish to see uh, people that uh, grow, like really. You do something that changes uh, our living, like something that will make our lives easier. You know, sometimes we are behind. It's, it's a fact. So I would like us to also advance and also become people that are moving with time. Someone who makes a difference that is uh, quite huge for all of us. Even the youth, that's something that is just good for all the I'm just trying to say, like, for example, uh, youths that are going to just uh, have a mind of Building like a car, making a car. This okay. is the first African car we ever produced. Right. Something like that. That's what I'm also thinking about. Mm-hmm. Like making things easier. If you have a problem, we find a solution. Everyone provides like a, a you know, we have youths that are going to come out and say, Me, I can actually do this. I can actually help. We can have a cleaner environment. We can have cleaner water. You know, those kind of things that okay. you know, need to change for something. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh. Well, yeah. Patriotism comes in different forms. You know, you can see um, if you are patriotic, like what I've seen in other countries, it's like just doing uh, one thing together, you know. You agree on something. If you want a change in your life, you just have to be together. Like when you are representing your country, you know, when you go out in other countries, you see someone uh, from your country. You know, by just being patriotic, like you take that person as a relative, you take that a, a person as a friend. And if you are being patriotic, when you see maybe other people attacking uh, on one of yours, you would by all means try to defend them. It's not always about like, ah, these people, they do this kind of thing and what, so I don't care about what they do. And also patriotism comes like, um, sometimes people, they get better offers from outside, you know, when they, they get better jobs, they, they get money uh, from outside, then they forget that they have a country that they have to come back to. So if you are patriotic, you find, try by all means, okay, you get money from outside, but you come back home to build, to rebuild your country. You try by all means to start businesses. You invite people to come to your country. You invite other people to. You just represent your country in every way that you can. Not just being negative about it. You know things are happening in life and things are difficult in that. But it doesn't mean you will change being Zimbabwe by, uh, because things are difficult. But as long as you remember that you are a Zimbabwe and you are patriotic about your country, then I think we will improve from, from that. Inshallah. I also think um, it's good to be a change that you want to see tomorrow. So I, I'm just hoping that will be a change where youths are going to engage in many business opportunities. We create things that are beneficial for ourselves. That we get to get to be people that are, have to get the next people that like working, a working that has a purpose, not just working for the sake of just 
okay, I just want to earn and then you don't have like an investment plan. So it's like I just wish to have more investors in the like in my own community. So once we have investors in our community, not looking from outside and then uh, coming to ourselves and then just have investors within us, I'm sure the children that will finish school, they will not have struggles that we are also facing. So I would love to see people that are passionate about uh, investment and then they support the other people that are coming after us. For me, the change I want, I think there's need for youth engagement because we are finding out in our communities when it comes to high density and ghettos, uh, youth are not being occupied with anything. They end up getting into drug abuse, prostitution. So we want to have more youth engagement to, uh, to create more engagement uh, activities like sports, uh, maybe career guidance for someone who doesn't know that they can do something with their own hands. They can actually create their own employment instead of saying I'm bored, so that's why I'm not employed. I'm poor, I have poverty, so that's why I'm becoming in, I'm getting into prostitution or drug abuse to reduce stress. There are a lot of things that the youth are saying out there. So I was feeling like if we have more of those programs for the youth, maybe catching them young, even from high school, before they get stuck out of school and then they start to think maybe doing other, all these harmful things will be better for them. No, I think also the change I also hope for is that uh, people that are in school, they should not wait to finish school and then start working. You can start doing part-time jobs when you are uh, at university. You know, that's why sometimes we are seeing parents are thinking they're investing in their own children. Mm -hmm. Like, they are, they are starting to take care of you since uh, ECD till you finish university. And then, they, of course, they're going to look up to you because it's almost like an investment. So it's more like I wish to see people that work before they even finish school so that when they finish school, they're getting in the field. They like not because it's like now I finish school, now I'm ready to work. Be ready to work even if you are in Form 4, even if you're in Form 5. Just get the exposure. I think the exposure is uh, a change that I also hope that the youth are going to engage in too. I think we are now living in modern times, and uh, we um, we are blessed enough, I think, to have internet. I know many people might even say like it's a, it applies uh, in a negative way or stuff. But if you will try to use internet in a positive way, we will be able to achieve a lot. We'll just take example of other countries where they are starting young to produce things. To produce stuff that bring a change in their life. By the time someone is in their twenties, they have already achieved a lot. Mm -hmm. So let's utilize internet not only just to to talk negative about other people or what, but let's try to use it to create platforms that will help us to develop in many ways. Like uh, you can start businesses and you use internet for that. You can socialize with people who are abroad and they tell you what's happening. And for you, you can even see what is happening in other countries. Then you try by all means to apply it in your own communities. Then I think we will have a big difference. Not to say Zimbabwe, we are living, we are in 2020, but other people, they look like they are already in 2050 because of how advanced they are. So we should also be moving with time. We have to move with other people. And I think those kind of changes that will make us uh, uh, go far, actually. And I will make an, a, a very big leap from here. I think a change that we need to have is uh, knowing God, because uh, there are some things that we are doing in nowadays, like abusing alcohol and maybe like there are things that we are doing that are maybe being cruel and sometimes violence and everything. It's, it kind of comes back to not knowing God, not fearing God. What you like, there are things that you know that if I do this, my God may not be pleased with it, and you are trying to want to do what God wants. So if you are someone who who fears God, who knows God, I think there is going to be a big change in other, the things that we're doing. Maybe so even uh, planting a tree, you know, it's somehow it counter, it counts on being, uh, having a good relationship with God. Because you're not thinking of yourself, that tree might grow, it may have fruits, it may have, give shelter.
water to add shade, a shade to, to people, and, and even monks will some birds and some other animals. And then, so that then you are thinking of someone else, some other people. Sometimes you may not be there to enjoy what the things that may be beneficial to the future generations. There are these things that even in Islam we are being taught to do something that will give other people benefits, even uh, imparting knowledge to others. It may be something that will live long after you have died and it will keep on bringing blessings. That's what Islam is, uh, that's what we believe in Islam. That if you do something nice for someone, you keep uh, accumulating blessings even after you are born. I'm actually happy that we are talking about the changes we want in our communities. I believe it's on the couch. Uh, we wanted a change. Then we, we decided to start this program because we think it will be something that will educate other people. It's something that will uh, make people open their minds and get the understanding of something. It's something that we saw uh, it was, is befitting that we need a certain change. So for you, I just encourage people like, if you want a change in your life, it has to start with you. So for us, I'm proud uh, with our team that we decided that uh, we needed a change. And here is the change that we want. Mashallah. So thank you so much for watching this episode of On The Couch. Uh, so if you have anything more to add, if you have something to say, we are very happy to learn from you. Give us a comment below. If you just want to encourage us or give us more points or what you want to hear more on the couch, we can, you can just give us a, a comment. You can like us, follow our page, the co online, the co radio and TV channel <laughs> on Facebook and on YouTube. And then maybe next time, inshallah. <laughs>